Michelle from PSI Made This here with another little crafty segment with Crystal Wren. We're at the Bryant Park Hotel, and it's one of my favorite times of year. It is New Year's. I really want to put an extra little pizzazz into my outfit and add a statement necklace. And a lot of designers are doing this lately. Totally. Tom Bins, La Vaughn, even Bottega. And there really is something personal about a charm bracelet, which is why I think that we have the inspiration of making it a necklace. I love that idea. I've got my charm bracelet, and I know that you brought your charms with us, so let's see what you got. I have a lot here, I have to say. All over the world, flea markets, garage sales, things that I've even had since I was a kid. I wore this probably every day from fourth grade to sixth grade. It's a ladybug that opens up to a clock. I definitely collect keys. I love a skeleton. I also like little pocket watches. I got this one in a Paris flea market. When I was in Mexico, I actually found this Frida charm. Everyone always says I look like Frida, so I thought it, what a great personal touch to have it on my charm necklace. I'm a Gemini. I thought this is perfect. It says Gemini and it has the twins. So it's very personal to me. This was my mother's. She's like, oh, you can absolutely have it. This is my great, great, great grandmother's earring, and it broke, so I'm gonna use that as a charm as well. Crystal, you have such an amazing collection here and a great foundation for a charm necklace, so let's get started. You're gonna get some ribbon. I like to cut mine a little long, so I'm gonna do it about a yard or so. I actually never know what I'm gonna do, so sometimes I like to plan it out and do a mock necklace, and we're gonna lay out the charms in a circle, and that way we can slip them on as we go. Great. Perfect. Now to get started, we're gonna find the center point for yours, because we're gonna actually knock these on so they don't move all over the place. I'm just gonna loop that one to start you off in the middle. Okay, I feel like that'll be cool to hang. I missed you there. There we go. As you go, slip them on just through the hole. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our end, we're simply gonna tie a little knot, and just with the tug, it should stay on. Like so. All right, now that I've showed you that, go for it. Oh my god, that's looking really great. Oh, awesome, we're doing that. I think that side's done. Let's move to the beetle, yep. next side. I love that's this. the left side. Now, be sure when you're making your necklace to always leave a little at the end because you need some room to tie. Let's see, hold it up. What do we have here? That looks so cute. Because I know you love this chain. I have an yes. idea. We're gonna essentially just knot this ribbon on the chain. Here we are. We have both the chain and the ribbon. I love that. That's so special. Can I tie it on you? Yeah. That's amazing. I also have some other fun ones that I made too, that in case your style's a little different, I feel like you can switch it up and add different charms. This one is your modern boho. I made charms out of feathers and turquoise gems and more organic materials that here. That is so cool. This one, yes. the rule breaker, because she kind of doesn't really care about funking it up. This is definitely for your New Year's Eve rule breaker night. Lastly, I have my amazing contemporary chic necklace for the girl who's all about town running around, likes a little sparkle and bling. You, Miss Crystal, definitely are the classic sophisticate, mixing your grandmother's, your mother's, and your amazing charms too that you found over the years together. Thanks again for joining us on this episode of PSA Made This. I'm Erica and this is Crystal. Happy New Year and have fun with your statement necklace.